Hi everyone, welcome to The Naked Ask. Um, I'm Dia Bondi and in this, um, in this video series we are doing a little bit of raw talk about the power of asking. Really so that you can have the courage to ask for what you really want, to put you back in control of the conversations that involve making asks that matter to you, and using asks as a success strategy so that you can leap toward and accelerate your goals. Um, I am Dia Bondi, as I mentioned, longtime communications coach and creator of the program Ask Like an Auctioneer, which is designed to do what I just mentioned. Um, using the tools and tricks and mental model that we use in auctioneering, which happens to be my impact hobby for um, nonprofits that benefit women and girls. That's where I live in that space. Um, today, I want to talk to you about why it is that I'm doing this. Um, this is a new project in the middle of my career and, and there is a why behind it. Um, I have been a leadership communications coach for many, many years and a big part of that work is helping uh, leaders define and create the story they need to tell in order to move their businesses forward. And inevitably, the story that we craft is based on what do you need from the audience? What, do you, what actions are you looking to instigate as a result of the story you're telling? So for years and years, I've been working with people on like, what is it that you're asking your audience to do? Which is really an ask, right? What actions do you want from them? There's an ask in there. And the ask either, either shows up um, implicitly throughout the story there's a tip of a hat to that ask, or there's an overt and direct call to action at the end of those stories. But I didn't really understand or clock the power of asking um, and really what it means for us until sort of two things happened. One is I got involved with the CEO. Um, I became a CEO activator with CEO World, which is a platform that crowdfunds, uh, crowdsources, uh, early um, early capital for early stage startups that are women led and all the startups have a positive social impact but they are for-profit organizations we then grant um, uh, um, capital to those organizations to help them get to the next stage in their business and the ventures that we select part of the part of being involved with the CEO community is making asks of the community so that we can help make those organizations successful, both from uh, from investing in them in terms of capital, but also investing our time, talent, and attention and networks in them as well. And so those ventures come to the CEO community and make really clear asks about what they need in their business to help move them forward. And that became really obvious the role of making direct asks has on their on their success. The other thing that happened was a couple of years ago, I went to auctioneering school. And um, now I do auctioneering for nonprofits, for fundraising auctioneering for nonprofits that benefit women and girls. And it was really not until both of these things that I really noticed how much we lowball ourselves when we go to make asks. You know, as an auctioneer, my job is to, in fact, do the opposite of that, to push on the potential of every single ask to identify what is our fundraising goal and what are the asks that are associated with that kind of goal that get our audience to say yes, put their paddles in the air and make the contributions that they meet, that they need. Sometimes it's through a direct pledge. Sometimes it's actually auctioning off an item in a competitive bidding situation. But nonetheless, across the board, we are making an appeal. We are making an ask and building a story that makes that ask make sense. So in some odd way, it's almost exactly what I've been doing in my leadership communications work, and it all kind of came together in this world of entrepreneurship and um, and uh, and auctioneering. The other piece of this project that's important to me is that I really want to help women live on their own terms. And for some of you, that means uh, being um, a freelancer so that you can define your own your own work life. Uh, dance. For some of you, it means building a business that matters to you. For some of you, it means reaching a particular career goal as an in-house professional. But to do things more often on your own terms and put you back in control of your own destiny in that way. I've been a freelancer or um, independent professional basically since I was a kid and have had to, in my own life, ask for things over and over again, whether it's through a proposal or um, pitching a new idea for a summer job in my neighborhood, um, setting up a lemonade stand all the way up to um, now putting together my offerings for Ask Like an Auctioneer as well as for my for my coaching practice. So I've been in the world of having to 
ask and um, not be part of sort of um, not, I don't know, I've, ha- I've had to be in a position of having to ask for what I need in exchange for my my time and my services for, for a really long time. And I've gotten better at it, but it's still it's still a struggle. So my why is how, um, how do I help women use asking as a leverage point um, in their career life, career and professional lives to help accelerate their goal reaching? I've just noticed how important a tool it is, but how actively we avoid doing it. We do everything to avoid having to ask because it's hard. There's a risk there. You'll hear me talk about that over and over again. Now, here's the thing about about Ask Like an Auctioneer that, um, look, negotiation is part of it, but this, this whole conversation is not necessarily, first and foremost, about negotiating. Because when we make our asks, we have to make our first put. What is the first thing we're asking for? And then we usually negotiate down from there, not up. Now, as an auctioneer, I am negotiating up. You, in your everyday um, professional life, may not be negotiating up so much. If you do, I'd really like to know how that plays out. But instead, negotiating from that initial initial ask. And what I want for women and for, for all of us is to make that first ask be the boldest, most courageous, most embodied, most connected, most driving ask that is aligned to what you really want and the goals that you want to achieve in the world. So that from there, you negotiate around to another place if you have to, that is acceptable to you. So really, when when we as women can can take a take a um, find opportunities everywhere in our lives to help define our own reality, to stand up for what we really want, and to put ourselves in control of the conversations and the paths that we take, I feel like that's a win. Um, so that's sort of why I'm doing this and, and why I wake up in the middle of the night with new ideas that I have to write down, things I want to talk about, new offerings I can bring to you, new audiences I believe that will, will benefit from this. Um, so yes, my goal in all of this, my own... BHAG, my own big, hairy, audacious goal is to help a million women ask for more and get it. It's 5% more than what you were originally planning. If it's 25% more than what you thought you could get, if it's 200% more than what you were willing to say in the first place, I'm going to be, I'm going to be really happy. So, so a million women, and I am at the beginning. I'm at the very beginning. And if this movement is movement, project, I don't even know what this is yet, is interesting to you, um, please find me and stay connected to me so I can stay connected to you. You can find me on Instagram at Dia Bondia, also at Dia Bondia at Twitter and Facebook. Um, you can DM me any questions you have around asking the kinds of asks that you have to make in your career right now. Maybe you're asking for a raise. Maybe you're asking for a new role. Maybe you're asking for more responsibility. Maybe you're asking for... Um, investment. Maybe you're asking for an opportunity to gain more visibility. Maybe you're asking for a new mentor and access to a network, etc. Um, please DM me and I would love to answer those questions over on my IGTV um, where I'll be doing some Q&As. And also, if you want to stay connected and get notifications for these new posts that come up, you can text the word ASK to 66866 and you will be right on my list. Um, and my inquiry today for you is... Um, Where do I not ask where I could to get me closer to my goals? Where do I not ask when I could to get me closer to my goals? All right, um, that's it for today. Looking forward to talking to you and hearing from you again. Thanks, bye.